Hi, this is Yarn Journey, and I'm going to be making this little charm I'm calling the Celtic Knot. Um, this is an older charm that I made a while ago, but didn't have a bracelet I really liked to, like to put it on. So it had the four crosses in the middle and the, and the four um, alternating um, petals. So I thought it kind of looked like a Celtic knot. It could also be a friendship knot because a friendship knot also has these four crosses the same way. So um, we'll get started. Oh yeah, I need to say, then I'm going to show you how I joined this bracelet um, with these little things I'm calling buttons because they have a shank on the back and, they, and they're really easy to join um, things together, a button button charms together is what we're doing on this bracelet. Okay, so I'm going to actually zoom out now <laughs> to make the um, the tutorial part of the charm. Okay, so let's see. First, we're going to need two colors. I, I used metallic and silicone bands, so for this charm I'm going to use two uh, metallic golds I'm going to use one blue for the petals and then to hold the petals in place I'm going to use purple on this charm and for the bracelet part I'm going to use green for this particular charm. I'm alternating the green and the purple throughout the bracelet so that it makes it a little more interesting I'm hoping. So okay so the first step is make sure we're in focus and we're going to put a band on four pens. And yes, you can use your um, regular rainbow loom set up as a quad fish for this if you want to. See, I like using this one so I can turn around and do my opposite corners very easily first. And then go and get, get the other two. Okay, and then the next um, layer that goes down is remember to stay up, up, up into the frame. Okay, the next layer is the petal layer and this one's going to be blue and then I'm going to put the purple, so this is the front holding band, it's going to be right next to my crisscross part. I'm going to put that one on next. Then I'm going to just fishtail the center off. like that. Then what I like to do is see how these are in the middle they're together but these ones over here are apart. I'm going to bring them in together on both both sides here so that I get a nice cross in the middle here. See it? Nice cross. Then I'm going to take my back band, my back holding band, and put it underneath because I want to pedal off that blue band to give me blue petals. So I'm going to start on this corner here and do this one first. And that's just my habit. If you have a different one that you start on first, then you'll want to do that one first so you, so you keep your habits. And then I go and get the other one on the other side that's in the same position. And if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I'm doing something called a loop stitch. So I go under the band I want to take off, grab the band beneath it, drop off the one I want to drop off and put the other band on top. Okay, so now we'll do the last one. So that's what it looks like now. And again, since um, I'm going to rearrange this a little bit, not much, while it's still in the loom here. See how this is together and this one's all spread out? I'm just going to go ahead and make sure these ones come together on the sides here. Just a little bit. It'll just help even things out. Maybe squish this in a little bit so that it's a little more square. But that's basically it. Then the next layer is going to be my back loop layer. 
I'm going to put it on and I want that in the metallic um, gold. And I've been using mainly metallics and silicone bands when I've been playing around with this bracelet. So, so again I'm going to loop stitch off and go get the other side in the same position. I don't know if it really helps even out the stretch of the bands, but I tell myself that, so that's why I turn the, the frame, or the loom. Okay, now we'll get this last one. Put this one on. And again, I'm going to look at it and bring my um, sides in here. Sometimes you can go in between the two layers that are um, on the, on the, if it doesn't want to move when you just pull on the one. See, sometimes it doesn't want to move, so if you, you know, take your top one and pull on that one, push it like that. Kind of makes them come together a little bit, a little bit, not perfect, but a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much, we're almost done with the looming part. This part comes off, this purple band, is the um, back holding band is going to come up all, off the back loop band. Just fishtail it over. And this one I just kind of, this one, it kind of wants to just go where it's going, so. So it should look like that. Kind of pretty in those colors, huh? Okay, now this is where it's a little different than my other charm. I'm going to take one green band. That's going to be my bracelet color. So if your bracelet color, if you want a different color, if you're doing the same color as the charms, you can. Um, this would be the same color then. So I'm going to put a green because I want the green in the back of my blue loops in my purple center. Okay, so that's done, and then I'm going to just loop these off. See, and it's kind of loose in there. So what I do then is, see, and it kind of looks like that underneath. So what I do then is I put everything on my hook. I just take one... And then the next one, and then the next one. Of course, I would probably turn the um, loom around to face me, <laughs> but this makes it easier to see. Okay, so now I can, um, and I keep all my loops on the, let's zoom in and focus. Let's see if I can keep this in focus. Okay, so all my um, loops are on my hook here. And here's my little charm. And as you can see, let me get up close and in focus. There we go. As you can see here then, you can see this gold come around here like that. That's going to be our loop. And we see that we have four of them. We have one there, one there, one there, and one there. We're going to pull those out first. So we're going to go get this loop. It's like working in a mirror when you're look, watching the monitor instead of what you're working on. And I'm going to pull this out so that about an eighth of an inch shows on all four of them. And since there's only four of them, it's, pr it's pretty loose. Okay? And then I'm going to pull out these four to match. Oops, sorry about that. I looked down. I'm looking into buying an iPad or something that maybe will make it easier to focus without making a lot of noise. So I think that's what a lot of people use to make these videos. Okay, and then of course I can go and even up my 
center if it looks a little off. Okay, so that's my charm. And I've got my four loops on the back. And now they're, they're pulled tight in there, so I can just take this off. Okay. Alright, so... Okay, and now I'm going to make the little button. I'm going to pause my video and um, I'm going to cut and then I'm going to film that part and then paste it together to the video. So that's what my little charm is going to look like. And then here's the um, green one with the purple. Here's the green. So see, it's going to go green, purple, and then blue, purple with the green background and the blue, green with the purple. Okay, I need two charms to put to button them together, so I'll do this next charm in really fast um, motion and see how this works out. Okay, so we have our two charms ready to be buttoned together. So what I'm going to do is focus the camera. I'm going to make a button, and each button takes four bands. Okay, so I'm going to put a band on four again because it's a four-sided button. I'm going to. And I think you can probably do other size buttons too, like a five. A three might be kind of loose, depending if you have a tiny band or something. Might work. Okay, so I'm going to put the four here. Then I'm going to put a band at the bottom, like that. And a, and a band at the top. Okay, and I'm going to um, loop off the cross band over the top band and then drop off the bottom band like I do. Did on the other one. I usually do that opposite corner. I didn't do that this time. Hold it down far through so it's in focus. Okay, and then I'm going to push it down a bit. It should look like this. And again, I need to make this cross a little in the middle come together. Oops, sorry. So there we go. We have a cross that's in the middle, all all overs and unders. Okay. Then what I want to do is take this bottom over off of here right now. Okay. So that was that top holding band. It's going to go off right now. And then this is the normally the back holding band, right? So, um, okay, so now this is what we want to do. We want to take our charm and we're going to reach through this, right? Yes. 
we're going to take our charm like this and we're going to reach through from the back so we're going to turn it this is the front side we're going to turn it over to the back side we're going to reach through and then this is you have to be really careful here you take this one off and you're going to pull it through your charm through that loop and put it back on your peg like that okay and then you're going to do the other one that's corresponding so to, you wouldn't put this one over here to make it lay flat you have to do the one that's next you know that's right there and that the charms facing down go through here and then carefully yeah I usually put the um, loop through the center to kind of hold it out of the way on both sides and then um, carefully put this back because I don't want to lose that so it just kind of comes out of here so it looks like this it's kind of coming out through the center and you've got your two little loops so then I'll turn around and do the other side okay so I'm going to um, find my charm and then I'm going this one looks like it's a little uneven so if, if your loops on the back look a little uneven you can pull them even before you start putting them on it's okay so there we have it and I'm going to take again I'm going to go through the back it's upside down so I'm going to go through the back I'm going to lift this up and go through the middle here and pull it through and then carefully put this back on so I don't lose anything I'm saying that because I've lost them several times <laughs> okay so and I found out yeah putting it in the center seemed to help keep everything out of the way so okay so and then when I have it like this I can kind of check to make sure I have everything the way I want it you know the colors and so um, so we have a charm see how it's kind of hooked in there okay so then I do the same thing like I do um, when I took the um, when I took the char charms off the hoop. I go through each one of these like this and get them on the hook without getting any of the loops on the hook. Just I just want my my four gold ones like that. Okay, then I'm going to take um, one and I'm going to carefully pull this through and I usually go through like especially these two make these one at a time and pull them through because sometimes they it'll get caught and since they're the same color I won't know which one I'm pulling. Then I'm going to pull this through like this. Okay, now I'm going to come in and show you something. Okay, let's go. get in here so now I have this loop see this loop here and, the, and my slip knot right the slip knots over on this side I'm going to go back through this slip knot because I want this doubled up because I don't want this to come undone when I clip this off tight so I come through here this may be in some other video but um, I have I guess I haven't watched that video yet okay and then I just pull it through again came off my hook there but you can see it it's how it's kind of coming through again so it's got a double can you see it it's got so now it crisscrosses you might not be able to see that because it's really tiny and the camera's coming in really really close so so I'm going to pull that tight then I want you to notice sorry I want you to notice something else we have this slip knot here like here and you see the four prongs and the knot over here I don't want the knot just to come down under here I want the knot to go in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center here and put my hook through the center then I'm going to come up through let's see and find that that where see I'm going to come in through the center on this side can you see it and then I'm going to go up through the center of this thing. See my hook's coming up and it should come up through that center hole right there. There. 
And this will keep the, the knot from pulling to, to the front and you'll never see it again. And you keep pulling on this until you feel it pop. Let's see. There, it popped. And then it looks really pretty on the back like that. So, and that knot will never pull out on either, any side now if you go through your slip knot. And then you take, take your scissors, cut that off. Oops, sorry about being out of focus, but I just cut it off even. And then poke it in, poke in your ends. And you've got a button that is um, holding your two charms together. Okay, now I have the other four of these made. This bracelet takes six charms and six of these things, or buttons, these things, buttons. So, um, so again, I'll fast forward and add this two extension to the bracelet. So, um, okay. Okay, so that's how it, I would have to do one more to um, close this bracelet up. So um, I won't do that right now, but so yeah, so I need, I've done five of them, so I need, I would need to do the sixth one. So yeah, so you can use these buttons to close up any bracelet if you don't want to use a sleeve clip. This is a way to um, make a charm that um, closes off bracelets. So this one's done in... Um, greens and golds and there's six and it fits nice not too tight um, not too loose ah, I can have my hand in the wrong place so here we go it's not too tight not too loose with six of them so um, so I made it in this color and I did the white um, these are metallic white and the um, and then purple or the well kind of purplish and um, turquoise from the uh, I think they were the mermaid bands they're all silicones and then these are red and blue silicone bands done with the silver and I put um, on these ones both all the middles are the same color as the um, the petals and then I just alternated the back color. And yes, you can. This is another bracelet. It's a cuff. Yes, you can join and um, do two layers and then join where the, um, join the four corners to the, you know, to separate ones. Instead of having two of them come to the, this side like this and this, you would do it um, with the corners. And then I just edged it with more of these um, buttons. They're just coming through the two, two, two sides. So this is another kind of bracelet you could make. And this is um, hot pink and hot green, <laughs> neon pink and green with white kind of lily Pulitzer colors. And then I've been playing around and you can just use buttons and um, hook them any way you want. You can hook them on the corner so they form like a diamond shape or you can hook them as a square. So because you have um, four choices for the shanking, I mean you have the really two choices in a way. You have each of the corners can be a separate shank you can see or you could go straight through this way and make it the shank going through that way you know straight from side to side or um, or under each corner. So, 
So yeah, so I think there's lots of different um, design possibilities with these little buttons. So um, I hope you all have fun making um, making them and and using them for bracelet closures. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I stayed in focus pretty good. Thank you for watching.